yeah, so uh, I wanted to share this with you guys. Uh, a little device I bought called the Microsoft Display Adapter version 2. Uh, as you're seeing on the screen right now. It's a very, very good tool. Uh, for anyone that's travelling really. I use this in uh, the sense that I like to watch my own content on hotel TVs. Uh, I've travelled for a while and I've always pretty much never used the hotel TV. Uh, because... I like watching my own content, and I'm not a real big fan of adverts, and for, just for my own reasons. I just prefer to watch whatever I want to watch. And so I used to just watch it on my trusted laptop, to be honest. Uh, if I wanted to watch anything, I'd bring out my laptop and uh, watch it. Uh, the device is really, really simple. All you need to do is find the uh, HDMI port, and there's normally, most TVs, as you'll be seeing now, actually have... Uh, USB ports for this particular purpose because the device uh, draws power from its USB but if you can't find a USB port you can always just plug it into a wall or something like that uh, you're going to need a cable but any any USB device you know you're going to need an extension cable if you're trying to use your phone adapter I've never had a TV that hasn't actually had a USB port if it's got HDMI you're quite likely going to have uh, a you're quite likely going to have a USB port on there. As, as I said, I've never not had a TV in any of the hotels or personally bought that uh, haven't had a USB close to the HDMI port. So I'm going to show you how useful actually uh, the, as you oh, just zooming in there, uh, the Microsoft uh, Display Adapter version 2 is because it was just a bit of like a you know spontaneous purchase. But what the actual USB does, uh, sorry, the uh, display adapter does, uh, if we just go to display settings, I think that's right. I'm using my phone, obviously, to uh, record this, but, you know, it's a good camera on the S7. Uh, just, it's as simple as connect to wireless display. And you'll see the adapter there. So now, you just double click that, it'll go connect in. It will, oh, it was so quick you didn't get to see the message. There you go. And now I've got an extended display. And as you can see, as you see, look, the lag is not very much. There's very, very little lag. There is lag, but very little lag. Uh, I wouldn't say this is good enough to play games and definitely not any, uh, like, fast-paced games. But the reason I purchased this, pretty much the exact reason I purchased this, is so I can do this. Now, <laughs> I can use the uh, hotel TV to watch my own content, and that is amazing. Uh, I will just press play, and it will come out the speakers. Oh. There we go. And that is actually coming out of the speakers. So, I can actually, oh, better pause that. Don't wanna get a copyright strike now. So now <laughs> I've actually made all the hotel TVs, uh, you know, usable to me. <laughs> I think it's an amazing device. Uh, you do get lag now and then, you know, the audio and video kind of stutter. They don't stutter, but like skip slightly, just for like a microsecond. Uh, it's rare, it's rare, and, and you, you can obviously still use the computer. But if you're like downloading files because you've only got one wireless card, uh, I think that can affect the uh, performance of, oh, excuse me, the performance of the uh, wireless device. But I'm really, really happy with this. Now I can watch my own co content over there. I can get work done. I can surf the internet. I can do anything I want on this device now and watch my own uh, content all through my laptop and a dongle that I've just plugged into the TV. How amazing is that? Have any, have, uh, has anyone else bought this device before? Or what do you think of it? I love it. I absolutely love it. Uh, so wrapping up, I think this is an amazing device. I think it cost me around £40. Uh, it's a perfect device for anyone that travels and wants to watch their own content uh, on their uh, TV. You will have to make sure that your wireless adapter is compatible. Most are, but a few 
uh, a few just don't seem to work, even though that I, they've been listed as compatible. I couldn't get them to work on a couple of my other laptops. Uh, I even tried updating my drivers, and I just I just couldn't get them to work. Uh, I kind of gave up after like ten or twenty minutes, and I just I just use I just use my UltraBook with it really. Uh, apart from the small incompatibility issues, oh, also I don't believe it works with Android and iOS. You may you may. Uh, like uh, debate with me in the comments. I may be wrong. If I am, let me know in the comments because I'd really like to know. But I don't think this is actually compatible uh, with iOS and Android. Uh, but really, it's a great travelling companion. It's made my hotel stays a lot more enjoyable. Uh, instead of watching TV <laughs> and videos on my 13.3 inch screen, I've got a nice what's that? I don't know, 32 inch TV. Uh, and the speakers are infinitely better on the TV than they are on this little beauty. Anyway, I'm going to round this up now. So until next time, guys, take care.